Hey, how's it going, everyone? I'm Nathan with the ebook reader blog. For this comparison review, we got the Lightbook Mebus on the left and the Onyx Books Note Pro on the right. So these devices share a lot of the same features. They both have a 10.3 inch ink screen uh, with a Wacom stylus. But as you can see, the design's quite a bit different. You got the page buttons and like the plastic housing on the Lightbook. Uh, and then the Onyx has that flush glass screen quite a bit smaller size overall, and it weighs about 55 grams less than the Lightbook. Uh, the build quality is just a little more nicer overall. You got that flush front screen, and then it's got that single uh, back button below the screen, which you can hold to turn off the front light. Uh, then on the back, you got a couple of speakers down on the lower edge, uh, and then this has the USB-C port. The Lightbook adds some additional buttons. You got a home button and the page forward and back buttons, which is nice to have. Uh, it does have a little bit more issues with ghosting. You can set the pages to refresh every page. Kind of helps with that. Uh, it has the indented screen. It still has a layer over it, though, so it feels hard and rigid like the uh, uh, Onyx Note screen, so it doesn't really feel any different. On the back, uh, just sort of plain here, but you got some speakers on the lower edge, USB-C, micro SD card slot, so a big advantage for the Lightbook there. Also has a headphone jack. So uh, one thing that's interesting is you would think the glass screen would have more reflections and more glare, but it actually seems to have a little bit less glare than the Lightbook. And it feels about the same writing on the screen with the Wacom stylus. There really isn't like any performance or like feeling difference when you're writing on the screen using the notes, but there is a big difference with the software, which we'll get to shortly. Uh, they both have the front lights uh, with adjustable color temperature. So you got the cool color and the warm color. Uh, works a little better on the note as you can see the colors are quite a bit different as well So with the like book you have the option to switch the two with the note you can switch the two You can also blend the two so there's an app that lets you blend the two on the like book But it doesn't seem to work very well um, And as you can see here the color is very different for the orange light um, And it's also just a little bit brighter on the note um, A little bit more even on the note a little bit brighter at the bottom on the like book um, and like I said, you can't blend them as easily on the like book. You also can't adjust the color within the ebook app, which is really annoying. You got to back out of the ebook app, then you can switch back to the other color if you want to use the cool color. Um, again, you can adjust the color. They both have a good range of brightness as far as being very dim at night so it doesn't bother your eyes. All right, so let's switch over and talk about the software now. And things are going to get a little bit ugly here for the Lightbook. Uh, usually, I just sort of lay out the facts, but this time, I mean, there really isn't a single thing the Lightbook does better than the Onyx. Uh, so, I mean, I'm just going to tell it how it is. Basically, I'm just going to outline all the things the Onyx does better in this review. Uh, so, you probably noticed we got different styluses for these. The Lightbook came with this white stylus, and the Onyx comes with this black stylus. The black stylus has a button on the side, so you can use the eraser with the tip. They also both have the eraser option on on the other end this little bit button so when it comes to writing on the screen uh, the onyx has the palm rejection so you can rest your hand on the screen it doesn't screw up anything uh, where I, with your like book oftentimes you put your hand on the screen it's going to turn the page or it's going to activate zooming um, so you have to actually go in and uh, it has this mode to turn off the capacitive screen right here uh, so then once you do that it works well so you just kind of need to do that first if you're going to write notes on the screen uh, where the onyx you can just start writing right away and it doesn't really bother uh, every once in a while it'll turn the page or something if you rub your hand the right way but for the most part it does the palm rejection nicely the like book has a bigger issue with ghosting you can see after images a lot more frequently especially with pdfs or web browser even third-party apps right there you can see like black banding from previous pages so with the like book you pretty much have to set page refresh for every page or you're going to have a lot of ghosting so their pdf apps have a lot of the same features uh, again though the onyx is the, it just does everything better so like right here we have the contrast adjustment tool um, when you're using it on the like book, it'll adjust everything. So images and text get really dark. So it, I mean, just using one notch up, it makes images like black almost impossible to see. Whereas the Onyx, you have a separate adjustment for image contrast and text contrast. Uh, and even still, you have to pretty much max out image contrast before the images go dark. They both have some zooming options to get rid of the margins. Uh, some custom zoom levels and preset zoom levels. The only issue with the preset zoom levels on the Lightbook is when you're using them, you can't write on the screen at all. Or the Onyx, it doesn't matter. It always lets you write on the screen whichever zoom level you're using. At this point on the Lightbook, I made the mistake of closing the book, and now it doesn't appear anywhere. You think it would appear on recently read. Uh, I don't know what it's doing with this library view here. It's created all these folders. Uh, I don't know where the file is located. Literally, the only way I can find it is to run a search for it, which is... How I found it last time, it still marks it as new even though we just had it open, so that's probably why it's not showing up in the recently read list. Onyx's software isn't perfect, but I mean the Lightbook, it just has a lot of issues here. There isn't even a way to like enter a page number. Uh, when you try to select text, it'll basically just select like one letter or like a space between the letters. 
You can try to move the ends, doesn't work very well. So underlining, it's a real hassle on the like book. Uh, if you wanna just use the stylus, you can't really, cause it just only works for writing. You can't use it to select text. Uh, whereas on the Onyx, I mean, this kind of stuff, it's worked well for a long time. So, I mean, you just wanna highlight or add underlines, just select, works nice and easy. Um, even if you wanna use the stylus, you can disable the writing with the stylus. And then you can use the stylus to select text um, add notes and highlights that way. So it works a lot easier. The stuff's all exportable. There are several different uh, underline and highlighting options here. You got two different colors. Uh, and then the Onyx here has these on-screen buttons here. When you're zoomed in, you can use these to turn pages if you want. And you can also uh, enable the scrolling mode so you can scroll around your page that way if you want. You can also close that if you don't want to see it. So again, underline, selecting text just don't work very good on the like book. You can't even get the end point to go where you want it to. And then when you do select it, I mean, look, it doesn't even select the sentences properly. Um, Onyx's the software also has the option to use two page landscape mode. So if you wanted to view two pages at once in landscape mode, you got that option. Uh, whereas the like book, you just have the one page view in landscape mode. Uh, another thing with the Onyx is you have the side note feature. So you can have like a notepad open next to your uh, ebook or your PDF. Uh, so they both have some various different cropping levels here. So you can set up different zoom modes, like if you have multi-column PDFs. Uh, so that's definitely handy. Onyx has just a little bit more options here and you can also set things up for uh, two different pages. So like sometimes you'll have a PDF where they're like laid out differently from one page to the next. So you can use this to set the uh, layout for each page uh, left and right. So that works well. Uh, again, you can use the uh, buttons down below to turn pages or you can just tap the page to turn pages with the Onyx. When it comes to the uh, note taking features on PDFs, you have some additional options on the Onyx. With the like book, you have the pressure sensitive, non pressure sensitive pen with four line width options and the options to use uh, black or white. Uh, whereas the Onyx here, you have multiple line width options. You got some additional color choices with red, green and blue for export. Here's a look at how the home screen lays out on these two devices. I do kind of like how the like books set up is works a little bit better here. You got access to your apps and your books on the home screen. And then along the top, you can switch between these different sections. Whereas the Onyx software, you got everything on the left here where you can switch between your apps and your settings and storage sections. Uh, they both have sort of a similar layout when it comes to their note app. Uh, but again, Onyx has way more features and also has the AI recognition option, which will convert your handwritten notes to text. Uh, it's also got these uh, syncing options, so you can sync your note which with like Evernote or Dropbox. Uh, Likebook doesn't have any syncing options at all. Uh, another thing with the uh, Onyx here, you got the option to set a default template. I can't seem to find any stop option to do that with the Likebook. It just automatically defaults to the white page every time. Uh, you got some cloud option as well with the Onyx. Uh, I really like this new black theme where uh, uh, you can write with uh, white text on a black theme. So again, when it comes to the actual performance of like writing on the screen, there really isn't much difference here. It just comes down to like the software differences. Uh, like the Onyx, again, a lot more features. It's really more of a basic note app on the Likebook. Uh, they both do have the full screen option so you can get rid of the menu bars if you want. So both apps have two pen choices for pressure sensitive and non-pressure sensitive. Uh, like I said, you got the different templates. Uh, they both have like the option to add multi-pages. Uh, you do have some more features, like I said, with the Onyx here. You've got the, uh, the ability to add shapes, um, and then it also has multi-colors for the pen, but they don't show up on the screen, obviously, but when you export them, you got the red, blue, and green. Um, one thing that drives me crazy about the uh, um, Likebook is just the way it erases. And when you're using the PDF app, it has the option to use stroke erase. Oddly, that option doesn't exist in their note app. You have to use the eraser like a literal eraser. I mean, it's kind of time consuming to erase every bit of the line. Whereas with the Onyx, you got the stroke erase. So when you're using the eraser, it'll erase, erase the full stroke. So it, you don't have to mess with like getting every little dot um, like you do with the uh, um, Likebook, but I mean the Likebook, it does have this range erase, so you could use that, but again, time consuming, it's not something you could, if you're just trying to quickly erase like something you wrote wrong, I mean, it's a lot more time consuming than it is on the Onyx where you can just hold the button and undo it quickly. Another thing, Onyx, you got that conversion feature, so it'll automatically convert your handwritten notes to text. I mean, it does have some issues. It doesn't do the line breaks right, so you have to go in, anytime you have a line break, it will connect the words, you'll have to separate them. Um, right here it said poo instead of pro, but I mean my, you go back and look at what I wrote. So, I mean, there's no way that looks like pro. So you got to give them a little bit of leeway there. Um, it is pretty good at recognizing text though, even though with kind of sloppy handwriting, um, they also have the option to write, you know, type text on here. Um, and then you've got the, uh, you don't have anything like that on the like book, but you do have the move option. They both have this, uh, similar like resize and move 
setting so that you can uh, you can move stuff around, you can rotate it, um, and then you can resize. So it's basically exactly the same on both of these devices for that. So, I mean, overall, the Note app, it's totally functional on the Lightbook. I mean, you can totally use it. It doesn't have, like, any major issues or anything. It's just, like, when you're comparing it to the Onyx uh, Note app, I mean, the Onyx Note app is just way more developed. Got those more features. You can easily share the stuff uh, via export. You got some different options with that. So just a little bit more well-rounded uh, Note app on the Onyx. So they both have the option to optimize third-party apps, which really comes in handy with like these reading apps because you can make the text appear darker. Uh, at this point, I decided to open both the Kindle apps on here. Uh, I thought that I didn't touch the Kindle app on the Lightbook at first, but no, this is actually how long it takes to open the Kindle app. It takes it several seconds to open. Uh, then once you get it open, it's okay. Uh, it is an older version of the Kindle app on the Lightbook. It's available in the App Store. I tried installing a newer version, but it wouldn't work. I mean, this older version, it works, but it doesn't have like support for the newer format. It doesn't do hyphenation or uh, you can't view multiple pages at once or anything. So interesting thing with the page buttons is it doesn't refresh the screen fully. It does turn the pages nice and quick though, but you will get some ghosting eventually. Uh, when you swipe the screen, it does uh, refresh the page. So some sort of different things here. Uh, one thing, they both have sort of like a similar layout with the uh, like kind of Android OS in certain respects. You got the uh, recent apps menu here. You got like the quick settings menu up here. You can turn on Wi-Fi uh, and adjust your uh, volume settings here because they don't have the volume buttons. And then the uh, one thing with the Lightbook, it has that global contrast setting, which is kind of nice, but you got to be careful with it because it'll darken the images as well as the text. Uh, so here's just sort of a quick look at the web browser. Again, things are more optimized on the Onyx. You can actually see your results when you're typing it in here. When you're uh, on the Lightbook, you, everything's blacked out. You can't see what the results are. So it's just like they put a lot more work into optimizing the software on the Onyx than Lightbook has. So as you can see here, using the web browser, text is nice and dark. You can actually use these buttons to scroll along the page if you don't want to scroll manually. And then it has the full screen mode as well. So it enters the full view of the page. Uh, so again, less ghosting, uh, darker text. Uh, it's just kind of a theme with the Onyx. Software is more uh, well-developed. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video review right here. Check out the ebookreader.com for full reviews of these devices. Uh, again, Onyx definitely easily wins this comparison. I know I like the page buttons and the micro SD card slot on the uh, Lightbook, but I mean, those just aren't enough to make up for all the software deficiencies. Uh, I know it sounds like I'm totally pro Onyx in this review, but I mean, if you're using both of these devices as clear as day, uh, Lightbook has a long way to go to get their software on the same level as Onyx is. So, I mean, just being honest. Thanks, guys. Bye.